Hello everybody, you're welcome to Music Chat Room and I've got a special guest here and by the name Agbushadare. Good to see you. <laughs> my man, my brother. Yeah, good to see you. Long, Long time. time, man. Yeah, good, good. Wow. How's it touring? Man, it's not been easy, man. Uh, good, the Lord good. is my strength. Like I said, the Lord That's is good. my strength. Wow. Well, for those of you that may not know him, he's one of the seasoned um, musician, guitarist, music producer, and what again? Please, can you tell us more about yourself? Husband, husband, yeah, <laughs> minister of the gospel, yeah. You know, how long have you been playing the guitar? Oh my God, um, the guitar, Jesus, um. Maybe like 30, I should be like 30, close to 40. Wow. Wow. Yes. How um, did the journey start? Actually, my first instrument is not guitar. <laughs> okay. You know, I started with um, playing drums, actually. Wow. As a drummer for a very long time. Then, um, then I changed, I started playing bass. I pick up the bass later. Hmm. So for some reason, I just don't like um, being a bass player, you know, those days you want to shine. You know, as a guitar player, the lead song, and those are the people, people uh, they recognize most, yeah. you know, playing lead, you know, oh, that's the guy, that's the guy leading that song, okay. But as a bass player, you know, they don't yeah, just actually, down there. <laughs> then, they don't actually know that the bass player actually is the one holding the music. Yeah. But, you know, so I, from there, I just say, you know, I don't want to play bass, let me just pick up the guitar. I started playing the guitar. Wow. I think wow. that was 80 something, which I can I can't remember right now. Did you are you self tutored or you had to get a, a teacher or how I, did you how did you learn the guitar? I learned from a lot of people. Okay. I learned from a lot of people. Um the the first one that actually inspired me is um, one of my big brother mm. uh, in Canada. Um uh Brashegun Okay. So, it's one of the things that actually inspired me to, mm. I love the way he plays then. And uh, when I pick up the guitar, by then I started listening to a lot of um, guitar players, but I don't know their name. If okay. you remember those days, they would put a, a, a tape, they would say the best of jazz or whatever. Yeah, yeah, those like collections. The collection and everything. So I've been listening to a lot of, a lot of um, big um, cast then. Yeah, and then, then I met a man called Ranger. We we'll call him Papa Ranger. Okay. Uh, Ranger, yeah. It's late now. Mm. Uh, he's from Burkina Faso. It's the one that actually opened my eyes to play and wow. started playing the real guitar, jazz, jazz and all music. that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I learned from Papa Ranger. Then, um, like that, you know. Wow. So you you so you transited from. Um, Drums. From drums to bass, bass guitar. guitar. Yes. No wonder all of those instruments you went through reflect in your productions, especially your percussions, the way you roll. <laughs> I, I, I noticed that. So, now, so for you to be a good producer, yes. you need to go through some of the experiences of the musical mm -hmm, instruments. Mm -hmm. At least, you must be able to play two or three. Yes, I think. It, yeah. I think it's necessary. Yeah. It's just for for. Um, if you want to become a good producer, to be honest with you, you have to have an idea of all those instruments. Yeah. Usually drums, because it's the rhythm. Yeah. You have to be able to create some beautiful rhythms. Another mm. thing people actually ignore most of the time is the bass. Yeah. You know, that's why you see a lot of people when they, if you are a bass player, if you know little about bass and you're doing production, it shows on your production yeah so if you're not a bass player then you, it's gonna be static you know yeah. you know you just hear it like me someone is playing like a mute mute bass instead mm -hmm. of uh, electric bass sometimes mm -hmm. so uh, those things actually help me yeah, okay. they actually help me so mm -hmm. and uh, i said i pick up the keys later yes, yes, yes i pick up the keys later because of production not because <laughs> i wanted to play mm -hmm. i pick up the keys and in the uh, when do i pick up keys Probably maybe 1990. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew a little before then, but I get more exposure yeah. by listening yeah. to a lot of people, yeah. uh, a lot of um, key, keyboard players, actually the gospel. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my favorite guys then, 
It's later on that I met him, Kevin Bond. Oh, Kevin Bond. It's yeah. later on. We did a lot of stuff together yeah. later. We still got to talk about the people you've met. So <laughs> still keep that in the so, cooler for so, a while. So, so <laughs> that's um, that's why I get into keys and all that. Mm. And of course, I love Bob James and all. Uh, mm. And um, what's the Duke? What's the name? Um, George Duke. George Duke. Yeah. And yeah. um, few of them like that. Joe Sample, I love the way the play. Yeah. So. I noticed that your style of music, you you have you you you, you love uh, smooth jazz a lot. Uh, what was the inspiration behind that? Well, smooth jazz or something soulful, you know, yeah, R and B, yeah, I can say, yeah. bluish. I love you know? all kinds of music, to be yeah. honest with you. And um, the reason why a lot of people think I like smooth jazz is that <laughs> um, I don't know. I play all kinds of music. Yeah, I play, of course. Uh, I play all kinds of music. To be honest with you, but I love smooth jazz actually. I remember when we used to play in the club those days, mm -hmm. and um, and um, we play a lot of uh, smooth jazz with my friends those days. And um, yeah. I fall in love with smooth jazz through um, people like um, um, what's this people's name? totally forgot, you know. It's been yeah, long. long I mean, another place entirely right now. Yeah. So I totally forgot a um, few of them that time. I yeah. fell in love with um, Smooth Jazz good, through good. those guys. I couldn't remember any name yeah. right now. So growing up as a young musician, what yeah. what what were the obstacles you met on the way? Huh. Some uh, of them just snippets here and there. Uh, growing up is not easy. To be honest with you, number one, you don't have your own instrument. Yes. You know, and actually when I changed, when I started playing the guitar, this is what I used to say. <laughs> I used to go to, because a lot of churches love me in Nigeria, in, in Canada, so that I can, you know, is I have access to any church. Okay. Because they love me. Seeing me is like, ah, I'm going to have anything you want, you know. So what I do is that I would just sneak into their music store um, yeah. where they park their instrument okay so i have to go there to play with that to practice with the guitar mm. you know something that we do here that you can just go to the store yeah and have just test her. so i have to you know walk not even taking a transport like trek there mm -hmm. to go and practice and everything sometimes i stay there for hours five mm. six seven hours just practicing wow. the guitar wow. and um it's not actually easy then yeah. and um, some of the challenges that I face again in terms of growing up playing music is um, the environment yeah mm. the environment in Canada those days nothing really happening there but we're just struggling we're just trying to push things to happen right. we're trying to make things happen and mm. um, it's just by determination Oh, yeah, you know, it's because I was so determined that you know this is what I wanted to do, yeah, and I'm going to make it doing it. I can remember in those days to when I was um, growing up, I walk maybe one hour, two hours, sometimes take a taxi to the church wow. to go and practice and wow. stay there. You're not even sure I go to midnight, you know. Oh, you remember? <laughs> trust me, <laughs> trust me. No, a lot. You get there, so you're just waiting for light to come sometimes. I'm, you I'm, know. I'm telling you this. But things are quite different now. Everybody, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the new now. generation right now, they are actually enjoying it. They, they are. I they mean, are, they, they, are are blessed. they are blessed. Let me put it that way. They are, they are blessed. Yeah. Because it's easy. If you want to learn something, you can just go on YouTube yeah. and uh, find your favorite guitar player. Yeah. Or search for new guitar player or mm -hmm. new keyboard, key, keyboard player or saxophonist. It's mm -hmm. easy for you to, to yeah. search for people like that, yeah. and you can sit with them, learn one or two things. Yeah. But we, you, you are not yeah. You can learn a song from a tape right now. You play it the next day, the kids change. You know? <laughs> yeah, because you it's the player. Yeah, because, you know, you might learn something on E, tomorrow it's going to be on F. F. <laughs> so, so you, you have, have to, to restart. You have to restart the game from the beginning. Or you as know? you're playing, it, the kids keep changing, yes. you know? On its own, <laughs> you, you're going to be in, in, in the mid, in the middle of the key. Sometimes you have to start it tuning again. And sometimes, and God help you, if the tape doesn't get stuck, so, and you have to stop pulling out the for tape. For that one, for that one, I, I encountered that one on countable times. 
I'll be, I'll be, I remember I used to score George a lot. Yeah. Some of others take five others, crazy stuff. Yeah. I score the strip, I score everything mm -hmm. then. I used to score all those things then. And um, sometimes the tape will just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I have to look for tape. <laughs> You know, I don't know maybe if it has happened to you. Oh, of course. I, I became a master of taping yeah, them. You just we sell it. <laughs> you bring it out and you <laughs> lining them so, up and start taping. So I've been through all those things. And, now you now roll it back. Yes. Carefully. I'll put it back in exactly. the case. Exactly. And it's straight back. You know. You Some people don't know what we're talking about. We've, we've been through a lot. Yeah. Getting to where we are. But we yeah. thank God. Yeah. You know, we thank God. And... Um, um, I'm not going to complain. I'm I'm blessed. Let yeah. me let me put it that way. Yeah. yeah, I'm really blessed. Now, growing up, um, I know you had an encounter with someone, uh, one of your favorite um, artists. Absolutely. I mean, we all knew that you you sound like like him. Who was that? A lot of people say I sound like George. Yeah, George Benson. Um, yes, a lot of people mm. say that. But one thing is this: I I I try to. I, I try to uh, create my own style. That if I'm playing, people just know that this is a bola. Yeah. And I have a lot of young ones actually that try to play like you, like me. Yeah. You know, uh, which is a blessing to me. Yeah. That's why I said I'm blessed. Yeah. I have a bunch of them. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Trying try to play like, yeah. you know, which is a bit beautiful thing. I mean, judge, we are trying to sound like judge. Yeah. There's no crime in it. It's just a blessing, like I yeah. said. Um, I, have I, have I, you met him before? Yes, I met George. Oh, I met George. Uh, you, you may recount. Of, yes, on I that. met George in 2001. Wow. Where was that? In America. Okay, great. So, um, <clears throat> I was doing a production in a studio in New Jersey, and uh, <laughs> the son walked in okay. to the studio, and um, the guy said, You sound like my dad. I say, who is your dad? For me, because I don't want to even talk because I'm paying for the session. So oh, I'm looking at <laughs> my time is if going. I talk with this guy right now. And then I was play, paying about how much for is it hour? For hour about fifty dollar an hour. Uh huh. So and how many hours was that? Um, sometimes, eight hours. Sometimes I'm paying like eight hours. Uh huh. And That's four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. And somebody is telling me. I'm and that sorry. was two thousand and two. <laughs> two thousand and one. And somebody comes to me and tell me that I sound exactly. like like is that? I'm like, no, not now. I will talk to you later. So, but when I finish that song, it's really mm. that song, not the session, but the song. Mm. And um, and I asked the, you know, I was just curious. Mm. Why did the guys say that I sound like his dad? The guy said, you know, GB. He didn't actually ring a bell when he mm. said GB. I didn't know that he's talking about George Benson. Mm. I said, GB, what do you mean by GB? Where's GB? <laughs> said George Benson. I said, George Benson? The, the guitar player? That's the song? So I wanted to run after him and the guy said, no, 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 hold on, he's coming back. Eventually he came back and he said that, uh, you know, I love the way you sound, blah, blah, blah. I would like to invite you to my house next week. Wow, what, that, you know, what so, an awesome invitation. Yeah. So I went there, I I met George, I don't I just want to cut it yeah. because of time. Yeah. So I met George, he was happy to uh to see me and for some reason it's you know the guy just clicked with me. Wow. He just clicked, he hold on to my hands for like a minute. How are you? He's Africa, he's Nigeria, <laughs> blah blah. I was expecting the guy to just let my hand go, <laughs> but he didn't. He didn't do that. So I'm like, okay, uh, what's going on here? Um, you know. So at the end of the day, they mentioned my name on stage to come and perform with him or no, just me, to myself. Yourself. Because a bunch of guitar players, excellent, great guitar players. There's one that I bought his CD. Wow. A week before. Wow. The, the guy, the guy was the, is the one actually performing when I get there. Yeah. And George Benson did not move from his where he's standing. So immediately they announced my name that they said I'm I'm gonna perform. Just say, is that you? Say I would like I would like to watch you. Wow. You're gonna play? Wow. I say yes. So hmm. we went there and uh, we started they brought a guitar for me. I was so happy because I thought maybe I'm gonna play GB ten. Okay. That's the Ibanez, the GB ten. I mean, mm. you know, I saw him, mm. you know. I'm like, ah, for the first time, I'm going to play this guitar. Mm. So the guy, I just saw a man, like a um, bouncer, 
just brought another guitar. I was so upset. I'm like, why they so they don't want me to play this guitar? I mean, is it because I'm I'm from Africa or what? <laughs> so um, they opened the guitar and uh, I plugged in the guitar. They I performed the first song. They say more. Second one, they say more. Wow. I did three songs, and the rest of the guy actually did only one song. Wow. But I, I did three, three of the songs. This African boy. So you know, and the guy just parked the guitar immediately. I finished. Well, I composed myself with the the response that I get from the crowd. Well, well, I said, okay, even they allow me to play the GP10, I played the live one <laughs> without knowing that actually the guy wanted me to make a history that mm. night. I didn't know wow. that the guitar belongs to West Montgomery. Wow. That was the last guitar the guy played before he died. Wow. Ted Benson bought the guitar for $250,000. Wow. An auction. So. And I'm you like, actually played that same guitar? Same guitar. I'm like, wow. Jesus. Wow. I couldn't believe. I said, say, West? Guitar? Wow. I'm like, Jesus. Well, this guy just wants me to make, an, you know. I made an history that day and wow, uh, what an awesome one. And it actually gave me an audience. I tried I interviewed him. Wow. And good. um actually if you remember that George went to Nigeria mm. two thousand and I don't know, maybe two thousand and twelve or eleven or something like that. Wow. He went to Nigeria because of me. Wow. I want the promoter, maybe if they were watching this they should know that the Benton didn't just accept. That offer, he made a promise when I was interviewing him. I said, George, are you going to come to Nigeria? And he said wow. to me, I will come to Nigeria because, because of, of you. you. Wow. He's wow. been getting That's the invitation good. to come to Nigeria for years. It just don't Never feel like coming. Yeah. Wow. So when, and I supposed to open for him for that show, for that whatever show. they're doing then, but you know, politics, yeah, they brought uh, someone else to open for George. Wow. You know. And I know about all the states, and they won't get good discount because wow. of me. Wow. I'm saying this for the first time. <laughs> That's good. That was... They might want to argue about it and say, what do you mean, blah, blah, blah. No. But... <laughs> Everybody, you know. Wow. That's good. You know, so, That's good. And um, the last time I got in touch was a long time ago. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. And um, I went back. They, invite, they invited me the second time. Wow. You know, they invited me second time, and that was 2010 hmm. or nine or something like that. I went there to perform. That, that's the thing in jazz, um, jazz world. They, when you're good and they are connected with you, they can always, um, they have you in mind. They can always bring you in anytime. A lot of people actually came in because of, yeah. they came there because of me. Oh, good. The second time, um, I, I wish I have the picture. You can see they have almost three, four cameras. Wow. Recording me, wow, for that for that very year, and that I'm the only one that they record. They don't they didn't record any other person. Wow, That's I, I was so I was even surprised. I'm like, are they using it for using it for documentary or whatever? Mm. But I didn't know. But the guy just told me that mm. they just want to record me. Wow, so you are the ambassador for guitar, <laughs> <laughs> African uh, boy on the guitar. If you, know. if you say if you say if you say so, my brother. I I noticed that you do um. Um, um you know, I know you're a gospel artist now. Um you run a um a daily worship on, on the Facebook. Yes. What is it called? Can you please tell it? Um it's worship, uh worship is majesty. Mm -hmm. And um the, the actual, how long have you been doing that now? Uh, since last year. Um how many episodes or how many um, editions? Um four hundred and seventy three wow. days now. That's a lot. We only miss only two two days. That, yeah, so far. Wow. Yesterday so, is one of the days. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday is one of the days, but um, oh, I mean, yeah. the Lord has been mm. so good, and mm. um, things are mm. happening. I remember. Let me say this thing to you. Yeah. And um, someone called me from Nigeria. Yeah. Um, about six months ago. Mm. Uh, it's a friend of mine, actually. Yeah. He called me. He said, there's one of these are big brother that wanted to talk to me and all that. Mm. So at first I thought maybe something happened, something funny happened. Mm. So when I finally, so when my friend was talking, he said, Abola, please don't stop what you're doing. 
don't stop what you're doing. I'm like, okay, first time this guy is talking to me like this. What's going on? So don't, just don't stop what doing what you're doing. I mean, the Lord is using you, blah, blah. I said, okay, let me even. So the man called me. Or rather, I called him. I don't even know who called each other. He now started telling me, he started sharing testimony wow. through my ministry. Wow. You know, that um, I don't know what happened to his leg. I think it's a serious issue. I mean, wow. it, it looks like he's been dealing with it maybe a year or something. Mm. And when I say dealing with something, which wow. means he can't walk or something like that. And he said he woke up that day. He woke up that day. There's a lot of testimony. I just want to give you this. Wow. And he says that uh, the Lord said, go and go to Agbola Shadari's page. Wow. To go and use the worship to uh, pray this morning. Just... Not even pray, just, just listen to it. Listen to it. And uh, he said, by the time we finish, maybe one of the program or one of the episodes, I don't know. He said, just discover that he stands yeah. on his feet and he doesn't feel anything. And he thought maybe it's just one of this imagination. Maybe he's just mm. thinking. And at the end of the day, he started walking. Wow. And he, started, he said, he shouted. And he was looking for a way to get in touch with me. That's wow. why I called my friend. Wow. There's a lot of testimonies like that. There's a lot. It tells me, you know, just where we are at the backstage before we came up on yes. set, when we we're talking about um, knowing the thing God has actually called you to, to do, do. Mm -hmm. and staying by it, mm -hmm. it's just the only thing everybody has to do. Yes, it's yeah. very, very important. Yeah. I mean, because you can yeah. do as many. A lot of things you can do, but this yes. particular one this, has really this, stood this, out. This particular one, honestly, is it is a ble it's blessing to me because, and I, I thank God every day for allowing me to do this yeah. and for asking me to do this. Yeah, you know, it's an honor. we 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 it's, it's an honor, always mm. always an honor. We have over seven billion people in the world. Yeah, close to eight billion right now, yeah. and God can sing. <laughs> You know, pick you out out of those mm. those human and say, okay, I want you to do this. Mm. That means you're special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because God can use. He has an option. Mm. You yeah. and I, we don't have options. You know? Yeah, we don't. But we God don't. have an option. He can decide to go yes. to anywhere. Wow. Even he can even ignore human being. And yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> start over again. <laughs> not even start. He can just <laughs> ask to so, yeah, start a You know, praising me. Mm. You know. So it's an honor to be it's used by honor. God. Yes, it's mm. an honor. It's a privilege. Mm. And just to let you know, it's going to be on piano worship, and and it's going to be a special guest there. So um, we're going to be together to um, minister to to every one of you. Um, before we before we go, um, what would you like to share with the upgrowing uh, upcoming uh, musicians? Very simple. Focus. Mm. Focus. Some of them want to say, just lay your hands on me so I can play like you. But does it work like that? <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the hand that I just used to eat a pad in hand just now? You want me to? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, it doesn't work that way. Just so, how can I be a good musician like you? Just lay hands on me People, now. <laughs> I, I, every day, my inbox is full mm. of messages like that. Sometimes, yeah. I just sad, I just say, okay. I should tell you something. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> well, it's true. What do you want me to tell you? It might not work for you. Well, whatever works for you right now, it might not work for me. I might have a yeah. different way of getting to my destination. Mm -hmm. You know. So, in terms of music, my, my, what were I going to tell them for them to be good? It's just focus. They just focus on if you believe in what you're doing, focus on it, do some research. You know, watch people, what you know, find someone about to practicing. To be honest with you, in terms of practicing, it's a good thing, uh, especially for beginners or for whoever. I mean, practice makes perfect, perfect. All of us know that. But the last time I practiced my guitar, the uh, people does not believe me. The last time I like practiced, practiced mm -hmm. guitar was 93. But what has been there has been from what you loaded yes. yourself with yes. in your growing stage. Exactly. Yeah, it's for very important. For me, practice. I don't. I don't really. I'm too busy. But you think a lot 
in terms of music oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on I, what to do and you listen exactly. you educate your mind a lot thank you that's just the key for me yeah at this stage yeah. that's what i've been doing yeah even before i release my album yeah how many albums have you released to be honest with you it's just probably <laughs> the three I don't have a lot but of But you have a lot of singles, all those ones you play. Let your, me tell you your, something. Your worship is majestic. Let me, this year, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm going to come up with all the all the songs. I have over 100 and something songs. Already That's recorded. Very, that, that can go for like probably maybe 10 albums wow. or 12 albums if I feel like doing anything. I just took a break when it comes to an album. You know, sometimes you just wanted to, you, you need to understand where you're going sometimes mm. you know it's not about because oh people are expecting my album bam this is bam this is no 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 mm. no mm. album is not it's not the only thing that you can read really, i mean i know a lot of people will say no they disagree with me but for me if i if i didn't take my time honestly i would have missed it mm. because the the pressure from people Mm. When are we going to hear your new album? When mm. are we going to do this? Mm. When are we going to do that? Uh, we, we can, miss you they can, can, can misdirect you. Yeah, they can misdirect. Right now, I discovered that this is what God wants me to do. Yeah. A minister of the gospel. I know a lot of people say, but God give you talent for everything. A lot of pastors were telling me, you know how many deals that I actually know in America mm. that I got? I'm talking about opportunity of a lot of stuff. Mm. You know, there was a time, I'll give you the story before we go. In New York, there was a time, so they arranged a, a club for me. Richard Bonnell would play Tuesday, I would play on Wednesday. Mm. I don't know maybe if you know Richard Bonnell. I know, yeah, of course. I've gotten different kind of deals. I'm like, no. If it's not Jesus, count me out. Mm. If it's not Jesus, just count me out. Yeah. You know, You've it's been a, there. It's a choice. You, yeah. you, you know what's yeah. there. And, and there's no you point know, going when there. God is using you, you know. Yeah. A lot of people say Jonathan Butler. I mean, Jonathan yeah. is, um, is a singer. It's, it, does, it does secular and it does um, gospel. Same. But that Jonathan Butler. Yeah, but this is our Bola Shadari, you know. <laughs> we, have different, different we, we, we have different Our callings friends. and everything. And God has been so faithful. You know, like I said, I just came back from different trip and Sierra Sierra Lone, Lone, free, um, uh, and Accra and uh, all this thing. Uh, but actually with the one in Sierra Leone, something s solid happened there. Yeah. So, God just want me to know that, listen, I've called you to, I've do, called this. You to do this. Yeah. You know, a lot of testimonies and everything. Yeah. And I've been getting testimonies left and right, even yeah. with the Monday to Friday worship that I've been doing. Mm. You know, so people will tell you that, oh my God, this happened to me when I was doing this. This mm. happened to me when I did this. Mm. You know, a lot of people, sometimes they wanted to send you an offering. As, uh, and my kind of person, I don't, I mean, I'm not into that. <laughs> God, mm. has, God has been so faithful when it comes to that mm. area. So I don't need you to mm. to send me an offering or whatever they call it. So God so has I'm... been so faithful to me. So, but what I'm saying is that, you know, you just have to know your lane. Yeah. It's very important. You have to know your lane because mm. it's very, very, very important. And I don't regret anything. Tomorrow, my, my 2023 is already packed, packed like crazy. So what else are you looking for? Mm. You know, mm. what else are you looking for? Mm. So that's just um, yeah, that's... Well, my advice for anybody. Just be focused. Know exactly what you wanted to do with the music. Yeah. Know exactly what you want. If you wanted to live with the music then you have to understand a lot of things it comes with a lot of sacrifice mm. you have to know your craft you have to know the business aspect That's of it, it so that you're not going to be you're not going to blame yourself in the next mm. day you mm. know in the future mm. so you have to know exactly what you're doing mm. Mm. so that's all i can say and don't wow. join nonsense because you wanted to make it in music mm. i'm going to say this yeah do not allow don't say you see this person because you don't know what the person belongs to, where is you know. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful in this journey. Yeah. You have to be very be patient too. Mm -hmm. And hold on to God. Mm -hmm. And focus on the cross. Mm -hmm. When you want something from God, just focus on the cross. Mm -hmm. 
So don't ever say, oh, okay, this guy, oh, wow, this guy is enjoying. Let me see what is happening. Mm. By the time you know what is going on, that is, this thing, you will be shocked. <laughs> so you have to be very There are a lot of careful. quotes going on there. Yeah. So, so you have those to be, are up the ears. So you have to be very, very saying. careful. Mm. So if you want to be for God, just be for God 100%. Not mm. 99 point something, 100%. You know? mm. So for me, that's my advice for upcoming musician mm. no. wow thank you so much that has been at Bushadari um, at the music um, chat room thank you very much for coming around I know thank, your, thank you for your, 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 your schedule is so busy and thank you I know you got a show tomorrow again <laughs> yeah, I, have, so, I have administration tomorrow tomorrow yeah. yeah so thank you so much um, till I come your way again thank you so much and that's Mr. Adbushadari that's my brother <laughs> yeah Bye.